What a day. I mean, it's October, and look at this. 22 Celsius, beautiful afternoon, and the roof is open for the regular season finale here at Rogers Center. The Blue Jays know they're getting on a plane after the game. They just don't know if they're going south or a little bit northwest, but we will find out soon, and wherever they go, we're going with them. Yeah, uh, Wes Parsons, he pitched in Buffalo most of the season. He didn't sign with the Blue Jays until the 8th of May, and then he reported to Dunedin on the 30th. He made one game appearance in Dunedin. And then he started in Buffalo and did a good job. He went nine and four. And we are underway. First pitch swinging. Comanero hits the ball to deep short. And what a play by Bo Bichette. Well, that's the type of season he's had in the field. He's really played well defensively, committing just eight errors and making many plays just like this. Harold Ramirez, the hitter. One strike pitch lined into right, and that ball's going to be over Merrifield's head. Turning first and putting on the brakes is Harold Ramirez with that line drive base hit. That's a long single. That is a long single. The other way. And it's two on and two out. And up steps Jonathan Aranda. That's a line drive base hit into right field. Ramirez is going to head to the plate. So will the throw. And he is safe. The Rays have a run on the board. Ramirez scores on the Aranda single. Paredes goes all the way to third. It's a 1 nothing game. Boy, striking with two outs. Two outs, nobody on. And a nice job by Aranda getting that breaking ball down in the zone, barreling it. And then here comes Harold Ramirez. Merrifield giving it a shot. Not in time. Well, getting the start here this afternoon for the Tampa Bay Rays, it's going to be left hander Jacob Lopez. You can see what he. Did with Durham, 18 starts, very good ERA, 272. There's a ground ball picked up by Caminero, and the throw to first is right there. So Merrifield, after the second pitch, retired, one away. Down the first base side, and that's a fair ball. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Aranda to Lopez to take care of Bichette. On to the second, six pitches. All that required. Tough situation now. First and third with nobody on. Back to the top of the order. Junior Comanero, who grounded out on the first pitch of the ball game. Ground ball towards short and just out of the reach of Bichette. Run scores. Toppy crosses the plate. Over to third goes Pinto. Camonero drives in a run. Camonero hits it so hard, though, that I think that helped sneak that ball through. But off the bat, I was thinking, boy, this could be a double play ball. Well, Ray's playing first and third. They got Pinto at third now. Camonero at first. Two runs in, and here's Josh Lowe. And that's going to be fair. Up the right side. Here comes Pinto in to score. Camonero's going to hit third. They will stop him there on the double by Josh Lowe and the Rays make it a three run game double number 33 for Josh Lowe picking up his 83rd run batted in four straight hits to open the bottom of the second inning two runs in with two men in scoring position it's in the dirt and down the line here comes Caminero he is safe he got in there under the tag Caminero flying down the third base line scores and that will make it a four run game and the bases are loaded so six hitters into the second inning. Three runs have scored and the bases are loaded for Jonathan Aranda. And a high shot back into right field. Merrifield's going to turn around and that sails away. A grand slam off the bat of Aranda. And the Rays had four more to this inning. Just like that, the Rays who grabbed the lead with a run in the first inning have scored seven with nobody out here in the second. And it's 8 nothing. Runners retreat back to first and second with one down. Here's Tyler. Heinemann. Heinemann's going to drop this one into right, and it's going to get past low and all the way to the wall. Schneider will score. Biggio will score, and Heinemann is at third base. No surprising, Josh Lowe made a try to catch that ball in this situation. He played on a hop, you can see the run, and that's about it. Cam Eaton's coming to the plate, making his first start in the major leagues today. Rudder at third, two out. Watch out, that's thrown to the backstop. Coming down the line is Heinemann. He will score. And just like that, it's 8-3 to three, Tampa Bay. Blue Jays have whittled away, taking advantage of a walk, a hit by pitch, a misplayed ball in right field. All of a sudden, there's a three spot. It's a triple and two RBIs for Heinemann. And then he comes into the wild pitch, and there is the first major league hit for Cam Eden. Congratulations to him getting his first start. And he's got himself a souvenir and a memory. How awesome is that?
He's gotten two standing ovations in the last couple of days. And if he was excited when he got the ovation a couple of days ago when he struck out, he's got to feel ten times as good to get it right now when he got a base hit. And let's keep an eye on this because if he is on the postseason roster, the biggest reason is to steal a base. One thing about the Rays, they are an interesting and fun team to watch. High fly ball back into left. Eden's going to go to the track, and that ball is out of here. Home run for Manuel Margot, number four, coming on a 1 2 pitch. And the Rays pick up their ninth run of the game. Ronda hit the grand slam in the second inning, and Margot belts the two out shot here in the fourth. Go back to the top of the order for the Rays, and Junior Caminero making his fourth plate appearance. Fly ball right field. Merrifield angling back, and that ball's going to carry out. It's gone. A home run to the opposite field for Junior Caminero. He is showing some power the other way, and he, for the first time, will circle the bases here on the home run and enjoying this one. His first major league home run, an opposite field blast against Tim Mason. Grand slam for Jonathan Aranda in the second inning after an RBI single in the first. Up the right side, that ball is going to be a fair ball and one hop the wall. Paredes will score. Aranda into second base with a stand-up double. Six runs batted in today for Jonathan Aranda. And the Rays now lead 11 to 3. The guy at the plate right now, he's been feeling pretty good about himself for a while. Biggio lines it to right, and that's down for a base hit. Schneider is going to come in to score, and it's 11 to 4. Another good at bat for Kevin Biggio. Yeah, he's been swinging so well lately. First and second for Toronto. Nobody out. That's ripped into right field, down for a base hit. Coming around third, Biggio hits the bag. He's coming in to score, and now it's 11 to 5, Tampa Bay. Still nobody out. Runners on the corners. The batter, Tyler Heineman. Here's a ground ball to third. That's fair. Long, long throw. Not in time. As Heineman is safe, tumbling over the bag, and he's laughing. So everything's okay. And another run comes in to score. Heineman now with three ribbies. Espinar comes in to score from third. I bring up Harold Ramirez, who, of course, dynamite against lefties. That's a shot the opposite way. Merrifield back, still on the run. Can't get there. That'll one hop the wall. Basabe's going to be waved to the plate. He's going to score. It will be a double for Ramirez, and the Rays pick up run number 12. So now Dalton Varsho, who is one for three, had an RBI single his last time up. He sends this one to left center field, but it'll be dropped. Margot again. Bichette comes in to score, and assuming that's an error, that'll be his third of the series, and that's got to be a concern for the race. They're hoping to get Jose Siri back, but it's touch and go whether he plays. The Blue Jays down 12 to 7, going to the bottom of the eighth. Two balls and no strikes on Belt. Hit high and deep, out to right field. You can forget it. That ball's long gone. What a key cock coming down the stretch for the Blue Jays. Brandon Belt delivers number 19 on the season, and the Blue Jays now trail 12 to 8. Kittridge trying to get the final out of the regular season here, and that should do it on a bouncing ball to short. The Rays will take the game on the last day of the regular season by a score of 12 to 8. They'll head back down to Florida, get ready to take on the Texas Rangers, and the Blue Jays will have a little celebration, we understand, here at Rogers Center right now, as now they can enjoy the fact that they clinched a playoff spot last night.